Hey, 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 how you doing? Woo, woo, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing today? I was reading somewhere or the other. I thought I'd change the background today, come up to the office rather than doing it in my regular office, basically. I thought, you know what? Every so often it's nice to have a bit of a change in the background, really, and get away from everybody doing their thing downstairs and let me come upstairs and come and hang out with you guys. But this is, the thing. yeah, because this is the thing. I realize I'm such a homebody, really. I keep thinking I should be more exciting, you know. <laughs> be one of those out in the cold doing live streams against the wind or something, but I can't be bothered. So, <laughs> and so, Jerry, I was looking at my videos, I'm thinking, ah, it's always the same background. Even where I do the deliberate live gathering, it's all in the same place. And it's, it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> maybe you want some variety in your background, but ah, whatever. This is who I am, man. I am a homebody. Love hanging out with my princesses. We go out from time to time. They go for the evening things. Thankfully, their father takes them these days. <laughs> So I don't have to, but <laughs> but yes, this is me. This is me doing my thing. And today we're talking about the fact that you know what, you're born for such a time as this. That that part came out today while I was doing my um. Let me just share this about the place. And um, when I was doing my, I was just reading through my secret text like I like to do. You know, I like to do it, right? So I was doing that, and it was all about Queen Esther. Now, this is a character in the Bible who, um, a young girl who got picked to become queen, just like that, basically. She was, she was prepared and everything and, you know, made to look awesome. And, and then she, it, it turned out that in the end, she needed to come and save her people. So she did. She stepped up to the plate. And this is the thing. When she got, when she, um, you know what, whether these stories happened or they didn't happen, it doesn't really matter. There are principles that you can learn from, okay? And in this case, she didn't know. She was just, in fact, she probably may have even hated the fact that she had to marry this dude who was just, had many, 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 many wives and she was just one of a number. She didn't know that it was all going to play out. She didn't know that it was all going to, that in the end, she would actually stand in the gap for her people and save them from some crazy dude who wanted to massacre everybody. Basically, she didn't know any of that. She just, she just rose to the occasion. Basically, she rose to the occasion. And the part I was reading particularly today was where, yeah, her uncle who looked after her was saying to her, hey, you can't avoid this. This thing is happening to all of us. You can't pretend because you're a queen that somehow this stuff doesn't work for you. And I found myself thinking about how we as deliberate people are in this deliberate life path. We can't, we are here for a reason and it's easy to forget that. It's easy in the craziness of life to just think, oh, these things are just happening to me. Things are not just happening to you. There's a particular reason that you're here. The question and only question is this, will you rise to the occasion? So there were three particular things that I gleaned from that story that I wanted to share with you guys. But before we do that, we will sing the affirmation, right? Okay, here we go. I was born for such a time as this. I rise to the occasion and I, I exhort you to rise to the occasion, to stop seeing yourself as some meaningless little blip on the face of the planet. Out of 7.5 billion people, you might think you're just one person. What does it matter? It matters a lot. You do not know the impact you could have if you would oh, there's three tips uh -huh. <laughs> basically here we go i was born for such a time as this i rise to the occasion born for such a time as this i rise to the occasion I rise to the occasion. You know I'm expecting you all to be singing wherever it is that you are right now, right? I was born for such a time as this. I rise to the occasion. Born for such a time as this. I rise to the occasion i was born for such a time as this i rise to the occasion born for such a time as this i rise to the occasion 
Okay, I want you to remember those words. I want you to remember those words. Because even as I was singing them, I was thinking that if I could just somehow plant into your mind a sense of purpose, a sense of you are called for a reason. There is no mistake. I know I say this stuff over and over again, but I mean it. I don't say these as quiet little platitudes to make you feel good or something along those lines. These are things that are real, that are true, but you are the one that gets to step into it or not. If you don't step into it, then they remain platitudes and just something that somebody says to you, you feel excited for about 30 seconds and then you go back to your regular life. But I would exhort you not to be that person, that you be, you rise to the occasion, okay? You rise to the occasion, you start living every single moment of your life knowing that you are born for such a time as this. And number one, you start to prepare yourself. I know I spent a heck of a lot of time, I used to say this. Now, I don't think I needed to prepare for as long as I prepared, okay? But I spent a heck of a lot of time doing things like singing lessons when I didn't know whether I would ever use my singing for anything. <laughs> uh, learning how to play guitar. Okay, I didn't learn to play that well, but I learned to play enough. <laughs> okay, so that if I needed to, I could rise up, get my guitar out and do something, basically. Um, I was thinking at that point that it was going to be some, some kind of churchy thing or whatever. I didn't actually think that I'd be coming here doing what, live streams with my guitar or anything like that. That, would, that was, was way somewhere out there. It was not something I even slightly imagined. For goodness sake, live streams didn't even exist until, what, two years ago or something, basically. Or maybe they did exist on YouTube. I just never heard of them. So, <laughs> But it's like... I was just preparing though. There was just a sense inside of me that I was born for something more. I didn't always know how I was always how it was gonna play out. I used to write these songs and I, I used to speak to people. I used to, you know, take young girls off to different places. I used to, uh, when I say different, take young girls to different places, I mean to like conferences to help them be, to they help them elevate their mind and things like that. So I was preparing. And I do see that every bit of my life, as much as there were so many unnecessary turns, that it was all preparation for the work that I am called to do. Even this that I do today is preparation for the next step for me, okay? And it's like, let's get conscious about the fact that everything is preparation because everything is working out for our good, right? As well as being very deliberate about, this is my vision, what can I do today that will actually prepare me for when the door opens, the foundation is built, whatever, so that I can rise to the occasion. Now, if you don't think that there's anything important about what you do or about yourself, guys, say hello, say hello. I want to hear from you, man. I want to hear from you. And just in case you're wondering what this is, these bands, well, I only wanted one, but my daughters decided, two of my daughters decided to make one each, and I can't quite choose one without hurting the other person. So we're wearing both of them. But these, and you guys can join me on this, okay? These um, bracelet things, these loom band things that we brought out again, loom bands having been last season. But <laughs> these loom band things are my, uh, my learning no longer to complain thing, okay? Because I can complain a bit too much, a bit too much for my liking. So I've decided to go on a complaint fast. So guys, join me. Get yourself a bracelet. Every time you, you hear yourself complaining, you switch it over, you switch over the arm. So you can keep an eye on me from day to day. If you see that this is moved. Hey, Stuart, how you doing? If you see that, <laughs> happy new year, Mr. Man. How you doing? How was the new year? What did you do? Tell me all, tell me all, basically. Am I gonna see you on the 3rd of, January, of February? Because that would be cool to actually meet you in the flesh, Mr. Man, okay? So you can come, just come up from London and come and join us on the 3rd for a whole day thing. That'd be cool to meet you. But anyway. Yes, if you see that this has changed arm, then you know that I complained. So <laughs> basically, you don't know how many times I complained, but you know that I complained. So you guys could join, join in. This 2018, let us be a community of people who don't complain, who don't complain about everything. Instead, we, we either solve the problem or change our attitude about it, one or the other. <laughs> okay, so I just thought I'd mention that as it was there. Prepare, number one, are you preparing? Are you deliberately preparing? Because if you don't see that it's important what you're here to do, then you won't, but I'm asking you to actually make the decision to stop thinking you're deluded, to think that there's something important about your being on this planet at this time, because there is. Number two, come out of the shadows, <laughs> come out of the shadows. Again, as I said, I was preparing for a lot longer than I needed to be preparing for, okay? So, guys, say hello, say hello. I see a few more of you, come on, say hello, say hello. Um, 
I was preparing for a lot longer than I needed to have prepared for. I just thought, oh, somebody else was going to give me a platform. Somebody else will tell me when I'm ready. Somebody else will give me permission. I finally woke up to the fact that, no, I am the one that has to give myself permission. So I need to get myself out of the shadows or else I could very well be staying there for the rest of my life. And I did not want to die with my music still in me. And if you go to the DSI page, you can see at the very top of that page, it says, I choose to live out my calling. I will not die with my music in me. And that is the cry of my heart. I refuse. I don't care what is happening. I don't care what people are doing. Uh, you know what? I, I know that I'm called to serve specific people and that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. So uh, I'm just going to keep showing up. I'm going to come out of the shadows and I exhort you to do that too. Some of y'all are waiting to be better, to have got the education, got the piece of paper that tells someone te that tells you that you're now ready. Or you're waiting for, I don't know, your pastor to give you a platform or I don't even know what it is that you think you're waiting for. It's, it's on you. Honey, if you want to live out the vision, the dream, you want to be the person that actually makes a difference on this planet, guess what? It's up to you to come out of the shadows and start taking action. Even imperfect action is better than no action at all. All this hiding has got to go. All this lurking has got to stop. You are born for something more. Will you rise to the occasion? Hmm? Will you rise to the occasion? I'm going to sing this affirmation one last time before we talk about the final point here and bring this to a close. I was born for such a time as this I rise to the occasion Born for such a time as this I rise to the occasion <laughs> Oh, I rise to the occasion singing you know i'm just talking about how prepared i was and it's like how do i get the chords wrong every single time i play these affirmations it's like <laughs> if i took myself really seriously i'd never come on here again because the number of mistakes i sometimes make is like seriously rosemary seriously <laughs> okay third point here esther this queen at one point she was looked after by mordecai she was she submitted to him she obeyed his rules and there was a particular part that i was reading today about how how in the end she said, this is what I need you to do. I need you to go and fast. I need you to tell all the people to go and fast. And he, and he submitted to her orders. And I was thinking about the switcheroo, how when you have prepared, when you have come out of the shadows and risen to the occasion, suddenly the, the roles switch, where you felt subject to what the government said, what whoever said, you become the one giving the orders because you have now become a deliberate designer of your life. You're no longer just waiting for somebody to tell you anything. You are now the one saying, no, this is the way it's going to work out. This is what is going to happen. You no longer have to submit. You become someone who is protecting other people because you are called to a certain set of people to do certain things for them. And so then you start to do that and so your role steps uh, moves from being just like you go from being a child to being an adult suddenly you are the one in control you are the one that is responsible you are the one who is elevated because you rose to the occasion but it doesn't happen by you hiding in the shadows by you refusing to take any action or taking little little bits of action just because you're a little bit scared and oh my gosh oh people will think that i'm too much or people will think that i'm too proud of myself or oh this and that and the other so watch rise to the occasion let people think what they want to think you're not called to every single person on this planet there is books you're supposed to be writing there's music you're supposed to be doing you're supposed, maybe some of y'all are supposed to be in the government changing things you're supposed to be changing things in education you're supposed to be helping people with their mindsets and their health and their wellness and their fitness and there's things that you're here to do you're be helping families young people it's time to rise man you can't wait for anybody to give you permission you are the one that finally decides you know what i'm done with the waiting game i have a call i'm rising to the occasion so will you do that man will you do that or will you keep waiting waiting for someone else to give you permission so when you all want to you know you want to start that business or you want to grow that business the thing the missing piece is that you're lurking you're hiding Nobody knows that you exist and you think that because you mentioned something once upon a time that that's enough. It's not enough. Some of y'all want to be in ministry. You want to start something. You really want to change things. It's going to take you rising, rising. This 2018, honey, you better rise to the occasion. You are not just a happy coincidence. If you want this deliberate life of purpose, 
of freedom, of abundance in all areas, of prosperity in all areas, honey. And prosperity to me is, you know, the money, the work that fulfills you, the relationships, the health, all of that stuff. If you want all of that, guess what? You're going to have to step up and claim it. You're not going to have to come out to the shadows. You're going to have to be doing the preparation, knowing that everything is a preparation. And honey, then be open to be elevated. Okay? That's all I have to say today, ma'am. <laughs> if you have not received my book, Pray, Affirm, Receive, then one, go get it. Honey, something else, share this stuff. Share this stuff. Share this, share this, share this, share this. Press that share button right now and share it with somebody in your world, okay? Tag somebody in. If you don't want to share it, share it. Then tag somebody in that you know specifically needs to hear this. Otherwise, share, 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 share. Let's spread this message. It is time for us to rise. Did I type this wrong? I think I did. Something's wrong because the picture ain't coming up. So let's try that again. I did type it wrong. Rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash book gift. Okay, so let's get rid of that original one because that was yucky. Let's delete that. Okay, delete that one. But this is it, guys. Rise. Rise to the occasion. You're called for something more. It is time for you to live into it. If you haven't got the book, pray, affirm, receive, go get it. How to get clear, stay clear, and take action to get what you want out of life. Some of you, I see new people. Oh, I see old people who have been in my world for ages who are coming back in again. Because people kind of get to a place where it's like, I can't keep hearing you say I need to do something and I'm not doing something. So I feel guilty or I feel whatever. And so they, they step away and then I see them coming back. It's like enough of the lurking in the background. It's time for you to step up and start living the life you know you're born for. The world needs us to awaken. It, the world needs us to awaken. So you know what? Do it for you first, for sure. But so for some of you, you don't value yourself as much as you need to. So do it for the people you're here to serve. And then as you're doing it for them, learn to love you too, okay? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. It's time to rise to the occasion. Much amazing love. Share, share, share. Speak to you soon. Bye.